Today I'm going game hunting in New York City. I've always felt that New York City is a cheat code for cinematography. You point your camera at any corner of any street and something is happening. Today I'm pointing my camera at Video Games New York, which might be one of my favorite video game stores in New York City. The store itself is relatively small, not the type of store you'd really want to wear a backpack in, but every square inch is jam-packed with all sorts of video games. Whether it's limited run games, games from Play Asia, or new or retro games, they've got so many things from wall to wall. If you're looking for a pre-modded console, they've got those, or if you're looking for parts to mod your own console, they've got that as well. And just when you thought you've seen everything there is to see, they've got more boxes of games. Some things are priced extremely well. 3DS games in particular are unusually well-priced. They're also a store in New York City, so some of their stuff is a little pricier, but most of their stuff is priced to move, so they can constantly be circulating inventory. I ended up picking up that Mad Magazine. That's just awesome. They have a fairly large museum section in the back. A lot of the stuff you can still purchase. If you're into GameCube, they've got a great GameCube selection. I'm always looking for certain loose Switch games to fill cases that are empty. They had some more sought after Xbox and PS2 games right here. I spotted a Breakdown over there in the corner. Breakdown's an awesome game if you've never played it. If I ever meet Dunkey, I'm gonna give this to him as a gift. This is the first Nintendo console. It mostly played like a breakout game. So, you know, it'd still be cool to own. They had a ton of these Game & Watch LCD systems. I'd totally love one of these, but I've never owned one of these handhelds. I just have the modern ones. I'm a sucker for the weird renders of N64 era Mario. They've got a DS and an original sketch signed by Miyamoto. I am super jealous of this and I just want to meet the guy. They've got their own Kojima section and check out this signed limited edition PS3. That is a crown jewel type piece right there. They've got an IQ, which is a plug and play N64 made for only the Chinese market, which is totally cool. And check out this little statue. I'm pretty sure this was a Club Nintendo prize that you could get at some anniversary. I don't know if I love Super Mario Brothers the movie, but I love the idea of it. They actually had a pretty fairly priced Wii U selection, and I ended up picking up a few games that I have been looking for, but I don't have. Metal Jesus Rocks always encourages collecting for systems that aren't being collected for right now. So I think I might actually go for Xbox games. Also, they were having a sale. That's great. When I was a kid, I had this controller. It's pretty cool to see it in box. I wonder what game this would be good for. No clue. I bought one of these when I was a kid. I kind of regret it. Well, that's enough for now. I'm going to go do some nasty yuck stuff.